happy Monday, Magic Circle Monday. I didn't even think about that till right now. So yes, it's gonna be a Magic Circle mat class. Uh, Equipment-wise, just the magic ring. Uh, a good amount of space. We are going to be doing stuff like high bridges. You need some like high space, depending on how tall you are. Uh, full back bends and control balance. Those are gonna be like our big exercises we're gonna to get to. So this will be advanced in the sense of some of the movements further into the class once we're warm will be those challenging exercises. If you have a lot of hair, I would uh, say a really high ponytail. You don't want, any, want anything here or else you're gonna to have to be continuously adjusting and that'll be annoying. So I have the hairband, but I'm probably not even gonna bother putting it up because of like control balance and shoulder stand, you know, you're on the base of your head. So that doesn't feel very comfortable if you have a clip or anything. So just get that set up um, and we're gonna right into it. It's gonna be a good amount of inner and outer thighs. We're gonna get that really worked. Uh, okay guys, so I want you to grab your ring. We're gonna be starting on our stomachs. And I'm just gonna start my wash right here, right now. Okay, so lay on your belly first, and then we'll place the ring on, because I found that it's the easiest way to do so. So your legs go through the ring. You're gonna bring it towards the knee, so it's still on your shins, but bring it lower than the ankle, so closer to the knee line. It's level from right to left. Connect your heels, we're in a Pilates V. And I want your heels pulling towards your low back so the legs are not straight, but rather we're in this contracted position. We're in a frog shape, either making a forearm pillow to rest your head or to just gently lift the chest up. Tuck your tailbone back towards the back of your knees and we are set up and ready to go. You're gonna start by lifting the thighs, and lowering the thighs. Good, knees press out, heels squeeze in. And I'm only lifting up from the hip crease and below. So right here. If you lift up and you feel an added amount of crutching in the low back, then I want you to make the range of motion smaller. So you need to tuck your hips into the ground so that we don't accentuate that lower back curve when the legs lift. Yes, this will absolutely work and strengthen your lower back, but we're using these alignments and these cues to keep it safe, right? We don't want to compress, okay? When I'm lifting and lowering my legs, I am not straightening my legs, so I'm not sending the legs out to lift up. I'm keeping the knees in the same position the whole time. Okay, guys, we're going to be here for a couple minutes on our stomachs. Okay, try to relax through the upper body. And one thing I want you to pay attention to is when you lift your legs, do you shift your upper body around? And if you find that you're doing that, let's try to eliminate it. So maybe that does, again, mean you have to make the range of motion smaller. Maybe it just means you need to slow down. So in Pilates, and especially in my classes, I like to teach slow, controlled movements. So you could almost think four counts to lift, four counts to lower. So cardio does have a lot more focus on pace. Where strength training, you can focus a lot more on slow controlled movements, right? We're trying to get rid of any momentum so that we are solely using our muscles. Good, squeeze up and down. So I want you to X as you lift those legs up, squeeze the heels, squeeze the glutes, inhale to lower. I'm really starting to feel my tush turn on here. We love that. <laughs> Good, we're gonna go for eight more. We've got eight. Shoulders are soft. And remember, you can be slightly propped up like me or you can be resting your head like this. Then we're gonna go for three more, for three. And two. Okay, last one. I want you to just keep your legs lifted now. Squeeze those heels in, squeeze the glutes. See if you can pull your stomach muscles in a little bit here so we don't dump the belly down just because the legs are up. And now I want you to give me little hamstring curls. Good, squeeze those heels towards your low back. Keep the knees pushing out into the ring. 
Good, we have eight, seven, hold an imaginary diamond between those heels, six, five, four, three, two, hold that squeeze in, now pulse your knees out on the ring without your heels disconnecting. So this initiation is from the outer hips. So you'll see the knees moving more, but we're moving from the hip crease, right here where I'm pointing. Knees press out, a little abduction. Good, it's challenging to keep the knees up and the heels together. We've got eight, seven, six, don't let those thighs drop. Five, we're gonna come into pulses up and down in four, three, two, hold the knees up, hold the heels in and let's pulse. Close your eyes and squeeze your glutes together. Relax through those upper traps. Lift, squeeze, lift, squeeze. You're almost there. We've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, we're gonna disconnect the heels. Look back, we wanna be parallel. So toes and knees point straight back and your feet are as wide as your knees. You're pushing the ring out. Okay, we're gonna come back into the leg lift. So we lift and we lower. Now sometimes, especially if you're a dancer and you're used to turning out, this can be really challenging to stay parallel. So I want you to take a couple peeks back as you do this and make sure that you don't start to let the knees go out and the feet knock in. So keep those feet moving apart from each other. Good, I'm gonna rest my head down, look towards you guys. Flex your foot and think of placing a footprint on the ceiling. Now I want you to think of your outer hips rolling down here and your inner thighs rolling up. So even the knee angles down rather than out like the last position. Breathe out, breathe in. Exhale, lift and lower. Good, continue to feel that tension out with those thighs, taking a, a peek back. This one is definitely a lot more challenging for me to stay in that parallel position rather than in the turned out. Good, lift and lower. Exhale up and down. Okay, we're gonna go for those hamstring curls. So legs lift, squeeze out on the ring and just give me little squeezes in and in. Heels coming towards your touch. I can feel my feet wanting to come towards each other. <laughs> Good, eight, seven, six, five, that's it, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna pull straight up, straight up. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Okay, so we're gonna move the ring now. So it's between your legs, right below those ankle bones. Squeeze the ring, and we're using the ring for the alignment. So toes and knees point back, tailbone tucks. We're gonna get into a little upper body extension. Reach the arms overhead, you're gonna lift up, circle the arms back behind you, interlace your fingers, breathe in, lift the heart. Thighs will stay down, you're just hugging that ring. Then you're gonna circle the arms overhead, Interlace your fingers, flip your palms overhead, and lift. Lower down, circle back, interlace the palms, chest open or heart floats. Lower the chest, reach overhead, interlace the fingers, flip the palms, shoulder and lat stretch. Lower, sweep it back. Inhale, peel your heart open. Exhale, lower, circle overhead, interlace, flip the palms. Big lift. Now, as we get warmer into this flow, try to lift the arms higher. So yes, the chest, but also the arms. Have you lost your inner thigh engagement? Squeeze that ring. Right here, get those arms up higher when they're overhead. Breathe in to lift. Breathe out to lower. So we've got some dynamic flexibility happening here. Big lift, big lower. Good, one more each way. Inhale, heart up. 
Exhale, or then reaching overhead. Inhale, heart up. And exhale, lower. Okay, we got a little tricep move. So arms to a T when you're at the bottom. Then you're gonna lift your chest up. Circle your left arm overhead, your right arm behind your back, and reach your hands for each other like you're going into a tricep bind. Open the arms back to the T, lower the chest. We're gonna be alternating the arms. Lift the chest, right arm goes overhead, left arm spins back behind you. See if you can get your fingertips to touch. Spin the arms out to the T, we lower down. Inhale, left arm overhead, right arm back behind you. Try to grab the fingertips, maybe you touch. Then open to the T and lower the chest. Inhale up, left arm back, right arm overhead. Try to touch your fingernails, spin it around. Take it down, let's do one more each way. Inhale, left arm up, right arm down, chest floats. Exhale, spin it around. The last one, inhale, right arm up, left arm back. Try to touch and spin it around. Okay, we're gonna do some side bends here. Squeeze that ring, pull it in. We're gonna be alternating right and left. Let's start by reaching the left arm overhead and the right arm back by the thigh. Lift the chest up. Side stretch over to the right. Coming through center, sweep the arms. Left arm back, right arm overhead. Side stretch over to the left. Circle the arms around, left arm reaches overhead. Now I'm going directly to the right. Circle it around and directly going left in the side bend. Now a side bend, you don't twist. So try to keep your nose in the center of your chest facing down. We're gonna do four more. Whatever way you're side bending, the other side of the body is lengthening. Good, last three. And final one. Bring it through center, take the ring out, and give me a child's pose. Stretch out that low back, sit on your heels, woo! My lower back is definitely working there, we got a comment. Hi, Marcus. Oh, you're recovering from one of my workouts, so you'll do it Wednesday, I love it. Okay, we're gonna do a counter exercise. We're gonna come into our rollover. So, grab your ring. Lay on your back and make sure you have space overhead. You're gonna put the ring in between your inner thighs. Make sure you can see straight through the ring so it's level. Flex your heels. Now for a lot of positions today, keep your neck long and we're gonna keep weight on the upper back. Hug the ring from those inner thighs. Send the legs over the face till your feet line up with your hip creases. Lift your tailbone. Then roll it down nice and slow. Lower the legs to 45 without the low back lifting. Exhale, send it up and over. Feet line up with the hips. Chest is open. Hug the ring. Glide it down. Nice job. We're going to do one more. Breathe in to lower. Low back is sealed. Breathe out to lift. Send it over. Lift your tailbone. Send your tailbone on your heels in opposite directions and melt it down. Okay, we're gonna come into jackknife. Let's point our toes. This time you're trying to send the legs straight up to the ceiling. So instead of over your face, more towards the sky. So scoop your hips, legs go up, and we try to glide it down. I'm using my arms a lot to help resist. Good, so I push into my arms to lift, and then I resist through those triceps to lower. Hug the ring, scoop the pelvis, roll up, press the thighs away from your face, glide it down. So when I roll up, it's from my pelvis and not throwing my legs towards my face. Rather, we don't want it to look like that. And then lift, okay? You want to think of your thighs pressing back and scooping your hips, woo, towards you. That was a good one. It was hard and roll down. Okay, last one right here. Scoop the hips, thighs press away from you. Squeeze that ring, roll it down. Okay, we're coming into shoulder stand. If that's not an option for you, you can do the movement like this with your hips on the mat. Otherwise, the ring is right above the ankles with your legs turned out. 
So kneecaps to the side walls. I'm gonna let the legs come a little bit towards my face so I can get my hands to my low back. So just scoop that spine up, walk your elbows in, place your palms on your low back, and then let your low back kind of sit in your hands. So I don't want you to be too tucked here. Now position is important. Make sure your back of your neck is long and you're not tucking your chin, okay? Squeeze the ring and bring your legs away from you a couple inches. We're gonna take that high frog. Bend your knees, stretch up. Now you can either point or flex your feet. I honestly don't mind either one, just something active. When you squeeze that ring straight up, firm your thigh muscles. Pull the skin of your knees up toward your hip bones. Good, breathe in and breathe out. Now, as I am doing this, my torso is in a still position. So those legs are moving, right? But as I bend the knees, I'm not tucking the hips. So keep the belly long, we're maintaining neutral. Elbows are hugging towards each other. Breathe in, breathe out. Nice work, guys. We're here for four. This is your high frog. You should definitely feel your inner thighs. <laughs> and three. Make sure your knees are turning out. That's the important part of getting that inner thigh to fire up. Two more for two. Knees are just bending as wide as the shoulders, so not crazy wide. Good, one more, and we're gonna hold those legs straight up towards the ceiling. Staying turned out. Strong thighs, hug it in. Hug it in. Squeeze that ring. Try to get your inner thighs to face each other and your outer thighs to oppose each other. Good work, good work. Squeeze it in. Awesome. Now I want you to squeeze that ring as tight as possible. Hug, 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 hug. Give me little pulses in and in for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Turn those legs out. 4, 3, 2. Hold the ring as tight as you can. Squeeze your glutes, straighten your legs. 10 second hold. Close your eyes. Tighten more. 8, 7. Squeeze it more. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bend your knees. Roll the spine down and come up to a seat. Good work. <laughs> Ring is gonna go between your knees. For me, I like it pretty close to the knee because it feels uh, better on my skin. So, we're gonna go into a C curve. Option one, hands planted behind you. Knees bent, feet planted. I don't want the feet rolling around here. They're cemented down. Scoop the tailbone, but keep your chest open. Squeeze that ring. I told you. Lots of inner and outer thighs. You won't be sorry. This is a little break for shoulder stand, but you're gonna see that position a lot today. And remember, if that doesn't work for you, you're flat on your back without the elevation. Hug the ring in, get the pads to touch, release. All right, so right here, squeeze it. Look at my feet. When I release the ring, this is what I'm not doing. Yeah, push your toes down in the inside of your heel. Don't let those guys move for me. Okay, now I want you to just squeeze the ring really, really tight and give me little squeezes in and in. 10, nine, don't fully release for this one. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. We got the hold, two, one. Squeeze as tight as you can. Close your eyes, it's all for those inner thighs. Squeeze a little more. Five, four, three, Two, one. Okay, we're going back in the shoulder stand, this time parallel legs. So rings right above those ankles. You're gonna lay it down, your toes and knees face you. Okay, I'm gonna roll my hips up, get my elbows in place, wiggle them towards each other, hands to the low back and let that low back sit in the palms. Snuggle those shoulder blades together. Hug the ring, let's flex or point the feet, bend your knees. When you bend your knees, we're in a 90 degree bend. Ankle over knee, knee in line with hip, and then straight up. Okay, I don't want you to bend your heels towards your butt like that. Keep the distance between your butt and your heels the same the whole time. 
Right, so you're folding at the hip crease. The arches of your feet are going up towards the ceiling, so we're not sickling the foot. The bottoms of the feet do not face each other like a butterfly stretch. The bottoms of the feet face the ceiling. Good, we are in those inner thighs, baby. And now as I bend and extend from my legs, I'm not moving my spine. So that's a lot of core here. I'm engaging that low belly so that I don't use my core. Um, one, to help me, or if the core is lazy and the legs are moving around, your upper body will start to move around. Good, evenly press into the ring from the right and the left leg. Okay, let's do five more for five. And four. Nice work, guys. For three. Every time you straighten those legs, hug that ring a little more. Two. Okay, last one. You're just going to send those legs straight up. We've got those big squeezes. Inner thighs are coming together. The outside of your hip should directly face the side wall. So toes, knees, and those bony hip points are facing you. Big squeeze, release. Big squeeze, release. Good, lengthen that neck, relax those shoulders. Nice job. Okay, now you're gonna squeeze as tight as you can. Give me little pulses. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Hold the squeeze as tight as you can. Let everything shake. Lift, 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 and inch tighter through that pelvis. Squeeze a little more. We got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bend the knees. Roll down. You guys are doing amazing. Okay, rings going back between your knees or maybe a little higher on the thighs. Option one is to have the hands back behind you. We're coming into that slight C curve. Plant your feet. Hug the ring from the knees, scoop the pelvis. This time extending that right leg. Squeeze, release. Squeeze, release. Now the left foot is down and same thing that I said earlier, don't roll out on the left foot. Intermediate option, left arm reaches forward because we're gonna add a twist. If you can't lift the arm, forget the twist and stick with that inner thigh movement. Now, as you hug the right leg in, we're going to twist to the right. Come back to center, release the squeeze on the ring. Hug, rotate. My advanced friends, you got both arms forward. You're twisting up and over that ring to the right as your right leg presses to the midline. Good. I got a slight scoop through the pelvis, but my neck is long. I'm not rounding out too much in my chest, yeah? Try to keep the chest expansive. Okay, breathe out, scoop. If you need more work for the core, you roll back a couple inches to turn it on. Exhale, twist, nice job. Let's go for eight. Good, make sure your right thigh is strong and your toes are pointed. We've got some quad in front of the thigh work there. Just by doing that, we have five and four. You should feel this right around the ribs for three and two. We're gonna hold the twist, hold it on one. I want you to go little of both of those. So little squeeze in, little twist through the waist. Good, now make sure you're moving your chest, not just your arms. It's not that, but move your chest. 10, nine, eight, seven, super strong, we got it. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Center, roll it up, take a breath in. Hands behind you. Scoop your pelvis, start to hug the ring in and extend the left leg. Toe pointed, we're squeezing. Releasing, squeezing, releasing. So navel into the low back, a slight C curve. My hands are there for support, but as you're getting stronger, you're using less and less of your hands. So we're not hanging 
in the arms. It shouldn't feel like there's a lot of weight in them. Okay, option, right arm forward. Remember, no worries if you can't. Do what you can do, right? We're gonna add that twist. So you're gonna twist across the body to the left and then come back to center. So feel like you're pushing through that right palm, rotating through that core line. Or advance, both arms are up, twisting up and over that ring. Breathe out, rotate, breathe in, center. Good, soften where you can in the neck and shoulders. And curl back a little further if that sounds appealing. Breathe out, breathe in. Give me five more, then we hold the twist. Make sure you're really squeezing that ring and you're not bossing your right leg around. So when you push your left leg in, that right leg doesn't roll out. Last three. We're gonna make this small in two. Hold the twist and the squeeze on the ring. Little pulses. Now make sure it's from your chest. Pull the belly in and curl back a little further. You guys got it. You got eight. Seven, smile, six, you're on camera, and five, four, three, two, and one, breath, release. Okay, guys, we've got the shoulder bridge for internal rotation, so that's when your toes and knees turn in. We did turn out parallel, and now we're internally rotating. So lay it on your back, we've got that ring, you're gonna put the ring right below the ankles, but you're gonna start by turning your legs in. So right, toes and knees pointing to me, then we're gonna turn them towards each other. Thighs, knees, toes point towards each other. Ring above the ankles, squeeze it. We're gonna come up into that shoulder bridge. So you're gonna curl your hips to your face, walk the elbows and shoulder blades together, palms to that low back, and let the low back sit in the hand. So turn the legs in, squeeze the ring. You're gonna bend your knees towards each other and then we're gonna press up. Firm your thighs at the top. Breathe in, breathe out. This should feel somewhat awkward, but it's totally normal because we don't do a lot of internal rotation. Now, when I'm bending my knees, just like when we were parallel, try not to let your feet drop. Okay, so the knees are coming towards each other. Maybe they touch, it kind of depends on how much you're squeezing the ring and how much tension is on that ring. There's different levels of tension on these magic circles. I'm definitely firing up through my quads and BMOs as I extend. Good, I'm going for that isometric squeeze in the legs. Nice job, give me three more for three. And last two for two. Okay, we're gonna extend all the way up and hold right here on one. Okay, turn in more if you can, and let's hug that ring, hug that ring. And I want you to focus on the rotation of the leg coming from the thigh. So it's really a C internal rotation in the feet. It's easy to turn in from there, but the movement should be happening from the top of your hip. So think of your inner thighs rolling away from you and your outer thighs coming towards your face. Nice job. Heels spin out, toes spin in. Five, four, three, two. Big squeeze, make it small. Little pulses. Ten, nine, eight, seven. We got a hold coming up. Then five, four, three, two, one. Hold, squeeze from your thighs. Hug that ring. Hug a little more. Ten, nine. Let's find this shake and embrace it. We got five. Four, three, two, one. I am shaking like crazy. Okay, guys, last shoulder stand move for the inner thighs. Ring in between your knees. Heels together, toes and knees apart. Okay, I'm gonna show you from this direction. This is what it's gonna look like. Option to be flat on your back. Option to come back up into shoulder stand. So let's get our positioning. Wiggle the elbows together. Sit on the palms, bring your knees up, squeeze the heels. 
Okay, now you're gonna squeeze your knees, try to get the pads to touch, and then release. Those heels are squeezing together very tightly, and they are not releasing. Good, I have weight on the back of my head and in my upper back. So there is absolutely no tension in my neck. So you don't wanna be so elevated that the pressure is on the base of your skull. So just check in with that. Now let's find the breath. When you squeeze that ring, give me a big exhale, pull the belly in. When you open that ring, inhale. Breathe out, breathe in. This is like some serious thigh master work today. What do you say? Good, big squeeze, deep release. Breathe out, breathe in. Good work, I'm proud of you guys. These are not easy positions. We're getting through it. Okay, you're gonna give me five more full range. You kind of got the series, then we do little ones, and then we do a hold in four. I want you to squeeze it as much as you can in three, two. Okay, hold the squeeze as deeply as you can in pulse. Squeeze your heels, squeeze your bum. Lift up through your pelvis. Don't let the vertebra collapse. Tight squeezes in and in. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Squeeze that ring really tight. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Try to break it. Get the pads to touch. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Squeeze it harder. 3, 2, 1. Release. Roll it down. Okay. Let's take a tiny stretch. I want to keep moving, keep that heart rate up. Just give me a butterfly. Bottoms of the feet together. Press those knees out. Take a breath in. You guys are crushing this. That was like crazy inner thigh series right there. Let's come into a little bit of outer hip work. We're going to put our legs through the ring. Step into it. It's gonna go right above your knees, and we're gonna lay down on our left side. Now, you want that bottom pad standing up. And then, we're gonna lay it all the way down, either on your left palm, your left arm. Move your butt back and your chest forward. So if you look down, I want your butt kind of behind your chest, not in one line. Now bring your right thigh, outer thigh, up onto that top pad. Bottom leg's working here too, because it has to push down. If the bottom leg doesn't work, that knee lifts. So both outer thighs are working. Find length through your core and lift through those left ribs. We're gonna just apply a little pressure up into that ring. You're releasing the pressure a little bit, but you're not disconnecting the leg from the ring, okay? So there's pressure on the pad the whole time. So we're changing our MO. We're moving to the outer hip muscles. I think those inner thighs got a sweet treat today. They should be feeling worked. Good, little press up. Now those inner thighs are not nearly as strong as our outer thighs and our outer hips and glute area. So they fatigue a lot faster. But I mean, I think we did like 25 minutes of inner thighs, so I wouldn't call that fatiguing too fast. <laughs> Big press up. Release, big press up, release. Nice work, remember the other option is to relax that neck down. When I relax my head down, I'm definitely able to find more of a core lift here through the bottom waistline. And that's simply because of the position the body's in. You know, I want you to hold this right leg up as high as you can and pulse from there. So now there's no release, it's just a lift, a lift. A lift. I'm not trying to let go of it at all. This should now have that outer hip talking to you pretty quickly. A lift, a lift, a lift. That's it. Breathe out and in. Squeeze it up. Okay, okay. There it is. We're going to go 30 more seconds. Lift and left. We're going to go into that hold like we did with those inner thighs. So basically, I, you, with, when you do a hold, you're squeezing and everything is still. So it's no longer a dynamic movement. In 10, we're doing the hold. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
Two, hold up with the right leg, push down with the left leg, try to break the ring. Push, 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 push. A little more, tilt that tailbone back. Break that ring, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo, that does it. Okay, come on over. We're gonna lay on the opposite side. Okay, so stack the ring. It rests on the bottom pad. Knees are at a 90 degree angle. Slide your hips back. Stick your tailbone out so there's a slight curve to the spine. And then we're gonna lift that left thigh up now. Right thigh pushes down. You should probably still feel that right thigh. Lift up through those bottom ribs and start to give me that little lift through the top knee. Now I want your knees in line with your hips and not pointing down to the bottom of the mat. Arch the low back. Press up, you got it. Little lift. I can already feel this seat turning on way quicker than the last one because it was having to work, yeah? So try not to be lazy with that extra work. I know you could just rest here and just relax that bottom leg and not work it, but hey, you're already here. And if you want results, put in that little extra effort and small things like that, like really doing the movement is going to give you that next set of results, okay? So really doing the movement here is actually pushing that bottom thigh down really hard into the floor. I know it's harder, but that's how you get better. Good. Press up, release. Press up, release. You guys got it. Okay, we're going to make it little in 10 seconds. Okay, are you ready? So I want you to hold up and just press from there. Little lifts, little pulses. Now when I'm moving my leg, nothing on my upper body is moving, except my arm, because I'm one of those people that likes to talk with their hands. <laughs> but you guys got the idea. If you want a little extra challenge, that top hand can be up and on the hip. Totally okay. Sometimes I like to put it in front of me because it just gives me more stability. Even though, yes, it could be easier I feel like an easier option is better if you can execute the exercise better. Yeah, so don't take the advanced option just because it looks harder or sounds harder. Do what, do the exercise or the option that lets you really feel it. Good, we're almost there. You got 20 seconds and you're coming into that big hold. We're lifting, we're lifting, we're not releasing. Good, in 10, we're coming into that hold. Remember that bottom thigh is gonna be working for you as well here. Okay, here we go. Push the top knee up, push that bottom thigh down, break the ring. Apply as much pressure as possible. We got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Woo! Okay, come out of the ring just so we can reposition. You're gonna lay on your back and we're doing one more shoulder stand. This is for the outer leg. So the positions you've seen before, but the ring is in a different place. So the ring is outside of the ankle, slightly above them. You're gonna roll your knees to you and get your hands to that low back area. Okay, we're gonna be parallel and parallel only. So it's only one set. Wiggle those shoulder blades together, flex your feet. A little arch in the low back so it's neutral. Flex, press up, bend the knees. We're trying to break that ring apart. Okay, constant pressure out on the ring. Okay, this is another area where I could say you could totally be lazy and not do constant pressure, right? Constant pressure is gonna give you the burn. It's gonna get you to that next place of strength, the next results that you're looking to see. Okay, breathe out, press up, breathe in, bend. You're gonna give me five more, five. And four. Good work guys, feet are flexed from the quads on the length, three. And two. Those legs are gonna stay up right here. Straight legs, big pulses. Push out, release, low. Push out, release. Now make sure that you don't turn out to do this. So stay parallel. Good, eight, 
seven, keep my pace, six, five, four, three, two, okay, we're making it small, push all the way out, push out from there, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, static hold coming, four, three, two, one, push, 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 let everything shake, push harder, we're going to do a 30 second hold, keep pushing more, don't let up, 20, stay parallel, close your eyes and smile, halfway, we're going to count it down, you ready, push it apart, break that ring, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, okay, bring it down, roll it up, we're going to hit an outer hip stretch, so we've got our right knee in line with our ankle, you guys know this one's my favorite one, <laughs> left leg crosses on the outside, Woo! that is tight, maybe just sitting upright right here is good, <laughs> breathe in and out, if you feel loose enough, you could lean into it. But for me, this is plenty right now. Woo! Okay, switch the legs. Bring the other leg in front. Oh, yeah, this side's actually a little better. <laughs> okay, guys, we are going to be coming into a little bit of core and then into some bigger flexibility movements. So I got a comet popping up. Wow! Hello, Dale. Thank you. Okay, so a little core engagement. We're gonna be talking about something we do in Pilates called posterior lateral breathing. And that's where you breathe into your rib cage. Big breath in, the ribs expand. Deep breath out, the ribs sink in. So kind of like a balloon, inhale open, exhale cinch. So I'm gonna be teaching that in our Pilates hundreds. So you're gonna be holding the ring with your palms on the ring and your elbows bent at this 90 degree angle. You could do this with your head down, no problem. You could do this with your legs in tabletop, no problem. That's where we'll actually start. Elbows by the waist, palms hug the ring. You're gonna inhale five times and pull the ring apart. Pull, 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 pull. Exhale five times, squeeze in, 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 in. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Press in, exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, pull the ring apart, two, three, four, five, exhale, press the ring in, two, three, four, five. The idea is when you're inhaling, you're expanding the ring and your lungs and your ribs. When you're exhaling, you're cinching in and squeezing that ring, okay? Advanced option, we're all the way down to that low angle. You're curled up, here we go. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Squeeze the ring, two, three, four, five. Pull the ring, two, Three, four, five. Good work. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Three more. Exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five, two more, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five, last set, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five, rest it down, okay, we are coming into our high bridge series, option to do this in low bridge, absolutely, let's start with the inner thighs, so the ring is going to go between your knees, in a comfortable position. And then your feet can be planted. We're in a neutral spine. I'll show you what this looks like in bridge. Arms resting by your waist. Neutral back, you'll lift up. And you're going for a big lift. Now, usually when we do bridge, we don't want to lift as much of the back, but we're going for the flexibility right here, the high bridge. If you're going up in a high bridge, you're going to come with me. Now, make sure the inside of your foot is planted and do not roll out on the feet. So that's the idea that the ring is helping us find the inner thighs and the instep of the foot. Are you ready? Okay. So first we're coming to the top of the head. 
Take your hands, put your fingers to your shoulders. Draw your ring and your elbows in. Come to the top of the head. Okay, pull the shoulders up, down the back, and then press up. Find your bridge. Spread the fingers open. Now squeeze your ring. Inner thighs are hugging in and rolling down. Chest is opening up. Your outer hips are firming in, and the head is hanging freely. So the ring should be engaged here. Do not let your knees and toes turn outward in a parallel stance. Then take a big breath in, and then bend your elbows, roll it down. Okay, so we're gonna be adding on some heel lifts, some of our releves. So here we go, we're gonna come back up nice and slow again, it's never a rush. Hug the ring, feel the inner thighs and inner foot, come to the top of the head. Hands plant, elbows hug in, find your back bend. Okay, walk your feet a little closer to you, feel the big toe down, and then we're gonna lift and lower the heels. Now keep in mind, you wanna keep contact, ball of the foot, especially the big toe ball of the foot and the big toe. Good, my arms are straight without locking out my elbows and there's engagement of my upper back. Hug into that ring, we're here 10, nine, eight, heels go up and down, seven, six, good work, five, four, three, two, one, heels lower, roll down the spine. You're gonna remove the ring and hug your knees to your chest. Give yourself a second. I have a little bit of a stuffy nose, so that's kind of funny being upside down like that. Okay, we're gonna now focus on the outer thigh for the back bend, still parallel. So make sure when the knees push out, we don't roll out on the feet. So ring coming right above the knees on those outer thighs. And again, you can do this with your bridge without lifting up your head. So hands are gonna come planted. Fingers point to the top of the shoulders. Now your feet are planted, maybe they're a little wider now, yeah, because you're pushing out, but your toes are not turning out, they're pointing straight forward. Press to the top of your head. Pull the shoulders in, draw the elbows in line with the shoulders so they're not splaying. And then push up onto your palms. I want you to send your chest back now through your arms. So you're just letting your head hang freely. And I want you to move your knees towards the bottom of the mat as you send your chest towards the top of the mat. So the spine is getting longer. Knees push out without rolling off the big toes. Take a breath in, good work. Bend your elbows, roll down. Awesome, take a second. Okay, we're gonna be coming into some single leg variations. I think it would be best to move the ring a little higher so you really feel pressure out on the pads. Okay, you can also do this in bridge absolutely without coming up. All these options work. Okay, so plant the hands, roll to the top of the head, find nice alignment, and then lifting up. I'm gonna walk my heels in closer. Walk the feet out, we're parallel. Extend the right leg straight out. Good, stand on the instep of that left foot. Pull the ring apart. And then place that right foot down. Extend the left leg straight out. Try to angle your right hip up, your left hip down, and pull the ring apart. Good, and then place the left foot down. Bend the elbows. Roll yourself to the mat. Okay, we're gonna remove the ring and we're gonna take a little bit of a counter. So left foot, toes into the ring, straight up to the ceiling, flex your foot. Let your low back touch the mat, so tuck your pelvis. Walk your hands up the ring, keeping your legs straight, don't let it bend. Bring your head and your knee towards each other. They do not have to touch. Push your low back into the floor. That's what we're going for is that kind of, we are coming out of the lower back extension that we just did. We're finding lower back flexion. And then release. Extend the left leg. Right toes into the ring. Stretch it up. Tuck the pelvis, flat mat, low spine, no arch. Walk the hands up the ring. 
Good. Bring the leg and the head towards each other without bending the knee. Relax your shoulders. Good work. And then as you exhale, release. Okay, we're gonna come into control balance prep. So only, or both of your feet are gonna stay on the floor the whole time. One leg is not going to lift. So we're gonna put the ring right outside of the ankles. Feet are gonna be flexed. Make sure you've got space overhead. Neck is long. The legs this time are coming overhead and the toes are gonna to touch the floor. So we're gonna send the legs overhead on our exhale. Toes come to the ground. Walk your toes to you. So it feels like you're standing on the ball of the foot. You're flexing your heels that way. You're sending your tailbone that way. So heels go overhead, tailbone goes below the body. Option to circle the arms around and grab for the arches of the feet. Pull against the feet to move the shoulder blades away from the chest and then allow that support to lift your tailbone higher. Push out on the rings with the outer legs. Take a big breath in here. Now you're gonna wag your tail right and left. So it should feel like you're doing a little oblique crunch. When the right hip drops, the left hip crease lifts. This is lateral flexion of your spine and of your pelvis from the lower part, from the lower back. Lift the hips a little higher. Let's do four more. We have four, three, two, last one, one, one. Good, bend your knees, roll all the way to the floor. Oh my gosh, my legs are shaking like crazy. Okay, we're gonna do a supported supine straddle. So you're on your back, legs are gonna open wide. You're gonna put your hands outside of your thighs and just let those legs fall open. Flex your feet and try to angle your toes and knees down. We did so much inner thigh work, so this should feel glorious. And then try to rock your pelvis away from you so you find a neutral spine. So for the inner thigh stretch here, it is really not at all about getting your legs to your face. It is about maintaining neutral and getting your legs wider towards the floor. Okay, let's take four deep breaths here. Just let those legs continue to spread apart and drop into the outsides of the hands. Last big breath in. Right, and then a deep breath out. Bend your knees, roll up to a seat, right, and find a cross-legged position. How are you guys feeling? You guys have crushed this workout. We're gonna just take a nice spine twist. Left hand to the right knee, right hand finds the floor behind you, or it finds the inside of the left hip or the left inner thigh. And then you're gonna rotate yourself along the middle of your waist. Good, turning to the back wall. Take a big breath in, get a little taller. Deep breath out, twist a little more. And then coming through center, we're gonna switch. Right hand to the left knee, left hand either on the floor behind you to the hip crease or you grab the inner thigh of the right leg and we press and rotate. Okay, try to lift tall and twist. Good, relax the shoulders. And then releasing through center, stretch those arms way high up, interlace your fingers, lift the palms up, lift your heart up. Big side stretch to the right. Big side stretch to the left. Good, come through center and let it go. You guys did amazing. That was 50 minutes magic circle mat, super advanced exercises. I don't think I have ever done a class, taught one or done one with that many shoulder bridges in it. So I'm curious how that went for you. Let me know what you guys thought about all of the back bends. Um, thank you for joining me. Thank you, Dale, for joining me as well. Hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Hey, maybe I'll see you on here again. I'm loving popping on here doing these live workouts. I'm basically just like, if I have some free time or a client cancels, I'm like, let's go. Let's get our workout in together. Please, please, please like, subscribe, share. I really appreciate it. That helps support me to make more content for you guys. And this is truly what I love doing. 
So have a fabulous day. This is Pilates on Demand. My name is Lindsay Bushman, and I'll see you guys on the next workout. Bye.